One thing about Cape York is that there's queenfish everywhere and they're really, really easy to catch. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. Ooh. <laughs> Where's the bite? <laughs> Just line peeling off the drag. Look, queenfish are really easy to catch. You find them scored up around the Mission River Bridge and I've got a couple of shots here from some other creeks where there's just queenfish busting up everywhere. How to catch them is really, really simple. It's almost like bait fishing. So let me show you exactly how to catch queenfish and hang around because I'll show you exactly the lures and the tackle and everything that I use to catch them. So I'm just at the Mission River Bridge here in Weeper and there's usually a uh, heap of queenfish just busting up bait, especially when the tide starts pushing in and starts running really quite hard. And the bait that they hit, um, I'm not sure exactly what the species is, but it's only a small, clear little bait. They spit them up all over the boat when you get them in. So I'm using a Berkeley power bait today. I've got a quarter ounce jig head, so I've got a little bit of weight to get down, but they're pretty high up on the surface. And I'm not gonna really do much retrieving of this plastic. Sink it through the, through the water and let the current sort of take it away and I'll twitch it just a little bit. We'll see how they go. I'm only on, I've got six pound main line here and pretty light uh, spin gear. Right, we'll see how we go. I'll get dusted up, but we'll have a bit of fun. This one's not too big, which might be a bit late. I almost said he wasn't too big. I wasn't very accurate. Weeper Bridge Queenfish. Look guys, this is not a YouTube trick. I rigged up, threw the plastic out, hooked up. <laughs> it's, fishing doesn't get much easier than that, but it doesn't get too much more exciting than that either. That's a good fish. Get another one. It's just only fast if the lure's there. there it is. Sometimes they bend the lure or pull the lure off the hook and you won't get another one off the same cast. But when there's a school in there. There you go. This spike down here on his on his belly there, because uh, they get real nasty, but yeah. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's one. She's had a good sport. <laughs> it's so, so underrated in North Queensland, the old queenfish, but I'll tell you what, if you had these things in Melbourne, <laughs> there'd be people chasing them everywhere. Unbelievable. And if you don't think they're any good eating, Check out my numbness recipe on, on my YouTube channel with uh, these things. Where's the bite? <laughs> Just line peeling off the drag. There's a shark chasing me. Go, Queenie. Go Queenie, go Queenie! You're in trouble, son. Go, Mr. Greenfish! The shots are gonna get ya. Mate, you are... The luckiest queen fish in the entire world. Look, you'd think it'd be more complicated than that, but it's not. You throw that lure out, you twitch it a few times, sometimes I don't even twitch it at all, and it gets smashed. Look, it's as easy as that. And you just gotta mimic the bait that those queen fish are eating in, especially around the Mission River Bridge. They're eating these little, they're like tiny little white bait. And the best lure I can get to resemble that, that bait is a Berkeley Power Minnow. And it's a three inch power minnow, the color that I like to use is pearl watermelon, but there's also a pumpkin seed that works really well. 
And like I said in the video, I'm using a quarter ounce jig head. A quarter ounce jig head allows that lure to sit up in the current when the current's running pretty hard. If the current's really light, keep in mind a lot of times when the current's really light, the queen fish aren't about. But when the current's really pumping a quarter ounce, when it's really light, I go to one sixth or one eighth or even a little bit lighter if I have to. And look, it's pretty easy. Just rig these things up. I'm gonna show you how to rig them up. Get them out there and twitch them a few times. Other lures that work really well, you can use the Berkeley gobs, you can use the Z-Man stick baits. I like to use a stick bait because I'm not really putting any retrieve into this thing. I'm not worried about a, a curly tail that wiggles or a paddle tail that wags. Look, I see a lot of guys chasing them on poppers because they're busting up on the surface, throwing slugs out, cranking them in really quick. And you are going to catch a few doing that. But look, it's a lot easier than that. It's so much easier than that. Put one of these on. Chuck it out, sit it up in the current, twitch it a few times, boom. I promise you it's as easy as that.